Hi everyone, it's Olga, and this is my two-minute iCRA video about the visual place recognition in changing environments. Let's go! In this paper, we recognize places by considering sequences of images taken in different points in time. In our previous works, we considered two image sequences and built a graph structure that allows to find matching images in between query and reference sequence. In this paper, we extend this approach to work with multiple reference image sequences. The particular advantage of our approach is that the fact that the reference sequences should not necessarily be image-to-image -image synchronized. Furthermore, reference sequences can be collected in different points in time and may also not overlap. We performed experiments in different setups. First, we select both query sequence and reference map to be collected with a car with the same camera, but during different points in time. The colored progressive bar in the lower side of the video specifies if the currently matching pair was found correctly or not. The correct matches are the ones that correspond to ground truth matches, also known as true positives, as well as the ones that were correctly not found, also known as true negatives. True negatives occur when the query sequence visits the place that were not mapped before. Wrong matches occur whenever the algorithm makes a mistake, either by finding the incorrect match or failing to find a matching image whenever there exists one in the reference map. Basically, the more green the bar has, the better the performance of the algorithm. In the next experiment, we went for a more challenging setup, where the query sequence was collected on the head of the bicyclist and the reference map consists of the sequences collected with the car only. As you may see, the video from the bike is more shaky, which changes the viewpoint with respect to the images collected with the car. Whenever our algorithm reports that there is no match found, we mark this decision as hidden in the video, since it corresponds to the search going through a hidden node. Not every hidden match is wrong. If the reference map has never visited a place before, the hidden match is a correct match. Since sequences in the reference map can be selected independently, for the next experiments we match the sequence collected with the car against the Google Street View images. By using images from Google Street View or other publicly available sources, we can skip the costly mapping phase. This setup is, however, even more challenging than the previous one. Here the sequences differ in viewpoint, season and time of day. Moreover, the frame rate of the Google Street View is irregular, which leads to the fact that several continuous query images get matched to the same image in a Google Street View. Nevertheless, our approach finds most of the matches by considering sequentiality of the images. Moreover, our system is independent from the camera setup. To show that, we selected a random YouTube video filmed from a car and matched it against the Google Street View images extracted at the city scale. There is no ground truth available for the YouTube video. Thanks for watching. See you at iGrant.